do he shit. He right there. He right there. Oh, no. We're trying to click him right now to get all three of us. Ooh. All right. All right. Well, we ain't never did all this. All right. That is, that is right. the big show. The big, big, big show. Now it's the big hey, show. Yo. I'm now it's the house. biggest show. The biggest show. Yo, Timbo the King, how does it feel to create something out of love of music? You two battled each other. Swiss is one of my best friends. You're one of my best friends. I was nervous for both of y'all. It turned into this mega thing called Versus. Now, today, you announced a big, big move and break it down to us so we can all so we can all know how did you make this move? Because a lot of people, I heard the number was 400 million. They, they was offering you all type of shit. <laughs> and you guys refused because you wanted everybody to eat. Can you play, yes. break this down to us? Break it down, brother Swiss. Break it down, brother Swiss. <laughs> He's talking to you, Tim. <laughs> hey, brother. Hey, Joe. It's just I, I'm just a given person, brother. I think it's only right. You know, it's like I want. You know, I like to be. I like to. I told Swiss and me and Swiss was talking like we wanted to be just disruptive. I was like, everybody help us build this. We got to give back. We can't just take this ride by ourselves. We got to give back to the people who took the ride so, with us. So I'm not gonna lie. I draw the line between media and friendship and brotherhood. Swiss called me last week and told me to play, right? Pound for pound. I never told nobody to play. They think I talk too much, but I don't tell what we're supposed to tell. So Swiss, <laughs> says, Swiss says, look, man, Joe, me and Tim, we couldn't sleep. Some very good people offered us the most money we ever thought in our life. But we wanted to share this with the other artists and the culture. And so you gave equity, meaning ownership, to all the artists that participated in Versus till now. Is this true? Facts. Facts. And, 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 and not only that, you know, what people got to understand is that, you know, this, 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 took, this, took some, this took some, this took some time to get it to this particular place because me and Tim could have been took the money and not, and nobody would have even known. We could have okay. been took the money, but our, our spirit and our zone, it just didn't feel right. And that's when I gave you that call. I was like, yo, it just don't feel right. And then we came up with the, the this way, which is the real way. And that's what we're supposed to do. You know, it's, we, it's what we're supposed to do because there's so many platforms out there that get built by us. And then when it's time to get to the next level, we're not a part of it. You understand? And everybody felt like they got paid from verses in some type of way, but that still wasn't enough because there's enough for everybody. And we want ownership from other people, but we don't give ownership to, to each other. We want respect Facts. from other people, but we don't give respect to each other. And the artists shouldn't have to ask for this. They shouldn't have to see this announcement and, and, and then be like, man, I wonder why they ain't do this or why wouldn't they think of doing that? Wasn't that supposed to be for the culture? You know, so, you know, but us going to Triller was something special to us because now Triller is the biggest Triller. Triller, let me tell you something. Break it down. I Let's love Triller. You know break I love Triller. Let, 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 let me tell you. Wednesday on Triller. Yes, you, know you are. I love Triller app. Triller. Everybody, everybody got to go download Triller now. Let me tell you why. Because Max. it has the most creators of own that the most creators that are owners in any company in the world. The most black and brown people are owners at Triller than any other. We brought 43 people with us. They already had 30 people over there that, that, that are owners of color and creatives. Hey, so, I'm not gonna lie. I got a phone call from Gary from Tim's. Yeah. And he said, I got a little something too. Everybody eats. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Everybody Yo. eats. Yo. It's a new year. It's a new way ah. of thinking. Yo, Everybody. Tim, Tim, I want to I wanna come. I we want to party together. Gary, and he says, hey, Timbo and Swiss want you to know you're a part owner in Triller, too. <laughs> Welcome to the Versus family. I was like, hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> and, and, we, and we appreciate your, your support from day one. You know, 
speaking about us on the show. And, you know, this is crazy. A lot of people, so I see people saying we uh, sold out and this, that, and the third. It's not black owned. We own Trillin now. It's, yeah, how's that not, how's yeah. that not black owned? It's more black people yeah. that own in that company than any other company in tech. Hey, let me explain something to you. The best interview I ever heard in my life was uh, Dapper Dan was on The Breakfast Club. And Charlemagne was trying to get into the black, you know, yo, black owned, black this. Dapper Dan said, brother, please, man. I just came out of prison. These people teamed up with me. Gucci's all over the world. I got Chinese kids, kids in Europe rocking Dapper Dam all over. He said, please let me make a dollar with these Gucci people. And just because they already have the foundation and the infrastructure. So he teamed up with them and made the most money he made in his life. There's nothing wrong. I don't understand what people are talking about. There's nothing wrong with teaming up with somebody of another race to, for the bigger picture. Never, other than, other than. Maybe Jay with title. There's never been somebody who included the hip hop community and gave ownership to the artists who participated. This has always been a business where they rank you and thank you for what you gave us and keep it moving. But check you this guys out. You went above and beyond. But check this out. Not only do you guys, we all have ownership, everybody gets to participate in the IPO. That's they the always thing. use the culture to get to the IPO, but every single shareholder is going to be able to participate in the IPO. That's where the real money comes in. That's where the real thing. And for the people and the fans, they can buy the shares and be owners too. So now we're creating, yeah, I don't. Yeah, hey, yo, let me on, tell man. you something. We're a true monopoly boy right here. Bro. Let me tell you something. If you was anybody else, we would have heard y'all made four hundred million piece to the gods one. Yo, we'd have been happy, like, yo, my guys make us. But I mean, like, you did the right thing. Y'all went above and beyond, did the right thing. Shout out to the whole versus thing. Um, do me a favor. And a lot of these artists who are living legends, let's say, you brought them back to the forefront, the streams went up, they, they, their popularity went up. It was a 50-50 thing. Now, tonight is Biggie night. Wow. One of you, each of you, give me one story, either how you knew Big or how he inspired you and I, your I, legacy I, in your career. Um, I think the first time I met I met Big, I saw him in the studio just passing by, and I always say I wanted to work with that guy. I never got to work with – in my career, Joe, I, there's two people I wanted to really work with. That was Biggie and Tupac. Now, I worked with Tupac through Devontae what bring the pain, but I never physically worked with Tupac. And those are two artists that I wanted to work with. And I saw Big at that vibe party the, this night. Well, you was there. And I was there. Me and Genuine. This mm -hmm. night. I'm getting in the car. He like, yo, we got to work Puff. You know, I heard him. I'm in two cars ahead. All we saw was people running. I didn't hear no shots. And then I go to a Nas party. And they said, yo, Big, this, I'm like, you know, because Aaliyah had just passed. The Nas party was in our Steve Stout's house, you know right? Saying? Steve Stout had like a mansion out there. Yep. Yep. And so that was like, it was like, man, I, I just felt like the whole memories of Aaliyah. It was just, it was just wild for me that night because I always wanted to work with him. I just know once I heard what Primo done, I was like, man, I could get bigger. I, I got a special bounce. And it was like, I was crushed. You know, I say stuff, Tim, and they always say I lie or I say too much. You know, I worked on an album with Biggie. We cut about five songs together. He was like, you the Latino Dawn, I'm the Black Dawn. And we was in that studio going crazy. It's verified by Puff Daddy and everybody. <laughs> and, but we were like, I mean, I'm going to keep it real. At the time, we were like dissing Tupac a lot and all that. And so that should have never seen the light of day, which is respectfully so, because, you know, they both passed on, you know. But, uh, yeah, I worked with the B.I.G. for real. Swiss Beats, 
What's your memories of Biggie? How did he inspire you? Did you know him? Well, I remember meeting Big out of outside of um, Atlanta Live one time, and he was in the and he was in the suburban. He was in, he was in the suburban. I remember saying, "Dag, I want that suburban," and I went up to the car with Jada Kiss, and he was like, he was like, "Yo, you the one that you produced that Jada Kiss." He's like, "I need something like that. Like when we get back, I want I want to give me some of those." And I was like, yeah, no problem. And that was like the last time I seen him, you know. Um, but every time I seen him, he just had a great energy. He, you know, he wasn't even really talk like that. He didn't really talk too much to me because he was in his own mode. But like that one time at Atlanta Live in Atlanta, he, he opened up and he communicated. I'll never forget that. And I remember he had them Air Maxes on I wanted too. I was like, <laughs> man, I want them Air Maxes right there. You know, and he was just, he was just good energy. He was good energy. Nah, he was the coolest guy in the world. Let me tell you something. I was there when he made Hypnotize. I was with, in the studio with him a lot. I was there when he made him Hypnotize. I tell the story all the time. From one to two was 10 black girls, the flyest you ever seen in your life. From two to three was 10 Spanish girls. From four to five was 10 Asian girls, the baddest you've seen in your life. From five to six, 10 Italian girls. Yo, they love B.I.G. That's all I got to say. I've never seen anything <laughs> like this. It was like a revolving door. It was like a revolving door. Yo, B.I.G., special, special guys. <laughs> Listen, guys, I love you guys. I thank you for making me a part of the Versus family, the Triller family. Everybody go out there and download the app. Uh, I love y'all. Thank you for coming up on here. This is the big, big show. Y'all know big what show. it is. Big, yeah. big show. The biggest. The, yeah, biggest, the biggest show in the game, baby. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's Timbo. Yo, Timbo, you got a birthday coming up. Tomorrow. What Tomorrow. We doing? You, your wife I'm ready. Wife. Let's go. Let's go. We'll cancel the big show. We go eat some good shit. Steaks Ooh. and lobsters. You want a yacht? What do you Ooh. want, Timbo? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> We gonna do it. We gonna. Do All right, it. I'm gonna talk to you in the morning. I swear, we gotta go somewhere fly. All right, Swiss, I love you. Y'all gotta click off. This is some new shit, guys. Okay. You like I this? I don't know how to do it. I don't know how the hell you click off though. You just hit up. It's right at the top.